trapped in a world of blocks. Alex needs to craft, tame, and build her way out of a Minecraft mess. Buckle up for a hilarious Minecraft adventure. Learn funny phrases and idioms as we explore this blocky world. So, let's embark on our narrative journey. Rain lashed against the attic window, the wind howling like a chorus of angry creepers. Inside, ten-year-old Alex and her best friend, Ben, huddled around a dusty old computer, their faces illuminated by the flickering glow of the screen. They were in the final stages of their epic Minecraft world, Skyblock City, a marvel of pixelated skyscrapers and floating farms. Suddenly, the lights flickered and died, plunging the attic into darkness. A low rumble echoed through the room, and the air crackled with a strange energy. When the lights flickered back on, Alex and Ben stared in disbelief. The familiar attic was gone, replaced by a world of jagged green cubes stretching as far as the eye could see. Whoa, did we just get sucked into the game? Ben squeaked, his voice a mix of excitement and terror. Alex, ever the go-getter, grinned. Looks that way, Ben. Time to think outside the box and survive in a whole new world. Their initial awe quickly turned to reality as a pack of hungry wolves materialized from the pixelated trees. With a startled yelp, Ben scrambled up a nearby tree, while Alex, remembering a recent Minecraft tutorial video, whipped up some wooden tools. The next few hours were a blur of activity. They cobbled together a rudimentary shelter, fended off a grumpy skeleton with their newly crafted weapons, and even managed to tame a wild horse, christening him Steve Jr. A blatant lack of originality. But hey, survival instincts trumped creative naming. Days turned into weeks. Alex, a natural at the game's mechanics, thrived. She built elaborate structures, crafted powerful diamond armor, and even created an automated farm using redstone. A complex engineering feat for a ten-year-old, even in the digital world. Ben, on the other hand, remained a perpetual scaredy cat, hiding from creepers, and spending most of his time riding Steve Jr. around the pixelated plains. One day, while exploring a dark cave, Alex stumbled upon a magnificent sight, a towering obsidian castle, adorned with glowing eyes. It was the legendary Ender Dragon's lair. Fear momentarily gripped her, but the thrill of adventure quickly took over. She knew what she had to do. Ben, she called out, her voice echoing through the cave, it's time to stop being a scaredy cat. We're taking down the Ender Dragon. Ben, who had finally managed to muster up some courage after weeks of hiding, paled. Uh, Alex, maybe we could just admire it from afar? Ignoring his pleas, Alex charged into the castle, Steve Jr. at her side, Ben reluctantly trailing behind. The battle was epic. Alex dodged. The dragon's fiery breath, Ben surprisingly, landed a few lucky hits with his sword, and Steve Jr. mostly just got in the way. Finally, with a triumphant roar, Alex delivered the final blow, sending the Ender Dragon crashing to the ground in a shower of pixels. A blinding white light engulfed them, and then... They were back in the attic, the familiar computer screen, glowing in the afternoon sun. Relief washed over them. They were safe, but forever changed. So, Ben said, a nervous smile on his face, Do you think we should tell Mom about Steve Jr.? Alex burst into laughter. Their Minecraft mishap had been an unforgettable adventure, a reminder that sometimes the greatest discoveries are found outside our comfort zones, even if they involve getting sucked into a blocky video game. 
Congratulations on completing our Minecraft misadventure. Your dedication to learning English is truly commendable. Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to ensure they stick. A quick refresher to boost your English prowess. Number one, lashed, struck or beat violently. Number two, howling, producing a long, loud, crying sound. Number three, huddled, crowded together closely. Number four, illuminated, lit up, made bright with light. Number five, flickered, shined unsteadily, fluttered. Number six, rumble, a deep, continuous sound. Number seven, crackled, made a series of small, sharp, snapping noises. Number eight, sucked into, drawn into something with force. Number nine, go-getter, an ambitious, energetic person. Number 10, outside the box, thinking creatively and unconventionally. Number 11, materialized, appeared suddenly and unexpectedly. Number 12, whipped up, quickly created or prepared something. Number 13, cobbled together, made something quickly and roughly. Number 14, fended off, defended oneself from a threat. Number 15, tame, domesticate or bring under control. Number 16, blatant, very obvious and intentional, without shame. Number 17, trumped, surpassed or outdid something. Number 18, turned into, changed or transformed into. Number 19, thrived, grew vigorously, prospered. Number 20, elaborate, involving many details or complicated parts. Number 21, complex engineering feat, a complicated achievement involving skill and knowledge in engineering. Number 22, perpetual scaredy cat, someone who is always scared. Number 23, stumbled upon, found something by chance. Number 24, adorned, decorated or made more beautiful. Number 25, lair, the home or den of a wild animal. Number 26, gripped, seized or held tightly. Number 27, took over, assumed control or responsibility. Number 28, echoing, repeating a sound after it has been made. Number 29, taking down, defeating or bringing to the ground. Number 30, muster up, gather or summon. Number 31, paled, became pale or white with fear. Number 32, admire it from afar, appreciate something without getting too close. Number 33, please, requests or appeals. Number 34, trailing, following behind. Number 35, dodged, avoided something by moving quickly. Number 36, got in the way, became an obstacle. Number 37, triumphant, feeling or expressing victory. Number 38, crashing to the ground, falling heavily and noisily. Number 39, blinding white light, extremely bright light that makes it hard to see. Number 40, relief washed over, a feeling of relaxation after a period of anxiety. Number 41, burst into, suddenly started. Number 42, mishap, an unfortunate accident. Number 43, jagged, having rough, sharp points. Number 44, squeaked, made a high-pitched sound. Number 45, yelp, a short, sharp cry or bark. Number 46, momentarily, for a very short time. Number 47, scaredy cat, someone who is easily frightened. Number 48, reluctantly, unwillingly, with hesitation. Number 49, final blow, the last indecisive hit or action. Number 50, comfort zones, situations where one feels safe or at ease. Number 51, sucked into, drawn forcefully into something. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.